Okay guys, here's a finished product. It's pretty good. Um, ready to get out of here. Let's see, um, I'll give you my first thoughts. Let's go up my 30% grain hill. It will know right away. I'm on full throttle. Oh wow, it's hella faster. I'm at full throttle. God, it's way faster. So if you live on hills and you don't actually need the all-terrain wheels, this might be the way to go. Wow. Let's check out some... Yeah, 60 miles per hour. Oh, 60 miles per hour. Uh, before, I think I was topping out at around like 12. Wow, the startup is just way faster. Here it is, ready? One, two, three. Wow! So, I was, I, um, remember I was going to actually uh, swap out uh, the vest, but I don't think you have to do that. For right now, I'm pretty satisfied because I'm going to about 30% more power, I can feel that. And this is going up hills. Now, on flat ground, I should be able to go, even go way faster. Um, then I'll have another test. Uh, eventually, I'll probably change out the vest because I want to have the backward feature also. I can take more, more out of it. But yeah, let me just go ride it for a little bit. Really loving these new wheels. fine they're just fine they're just perfect um, compared to all-terrain wheels they're actually pretty good I mean I love the all-terrain wheels but unless you have to go over a lot of potholes all the time it's sort of unnecessary especially most of the pavement where I live is, is pretty much flat um, so really like this new setup and I'm just getting so much more power out of it and I think um, eventually um, I'm gonna get a ton more a range also so I'll do a full uh, range test and let you guys know so let's go let me just go around my I believe it's a sweet spot um, for, for regular asphalt concrete road because I, it's, it's about
about the same as all terrain, maybe just a little bit more, but you can really feel more of the road. Um, so I feel like, I don't know, I think you'll be fine with 90 unless you absolutely need to go, um, like I said, if you're going to go off-road, you know, a lot, uh, slightly off-road. But then again, if you really want to go off-road, you, you want to get pneumatic wheels anyways. Um, the 6-inch honeycomb tires are good, but it's simply not going to cut it when you go over, like, gravel. Um, so, yeah, let me check out this hill. I always go up this, uh, can you turn on the road I can. Let me see how fast I can go up. Um, so 90 millimeter, uh, I think it's a sweet spot. I think if you want to really maximize the power out of it, I mean, you can go, I, I would go like 90 or 100 millimeters. 80 millimeters, I think it's a little too small if you want to go fast. But with 90 millimeters, you can go plenty fast. And I, again, I'm, I'll do a full range test. Um, but so far, again, I'll have to go to some flat spots to do uh, top speed. But I can really feel a ton more torque. And this is going to give you a ton more range. Alright. Because. Because. Because the gearings only 2 to. The gearings only 2.25 to 1. Instead of uh, 41 or whatever it was. I think it's all, almost like 41. So almost 40% more range you'll get with this. Alright. So really like it. Working flawless. Look at that. Um, just follow my instructions. I'll put all the parts I use, use the exact parts I use, follow my tutorial, and you'll be able to um, convert your Vestar Blackhawk with street wheels. But uh, let me go around the neighborhood again and just... <laughs> so it seems like the only problem is when I brake um, the belt starts rubbing against the wheel, so that's because um, the, the belt tends to move in one direction. In this case, it's moving outside. So I'll have to go home and file it down a little bit more, and then I think it'll be fine. But for going forward, um, no problems. It's just when I'm braking, the belts tend to go um, towards the, the uh, thing. So I just gotta... I just gotta not do... Super heavy brakes here. 